I'm gonna start with my safe start. I wanna make sure my seat belt latches in. Latches out with no cuts and no tears. I wanna make sure that my parking brakes and trailer brakes are applied, that my trucks are neutral. I wanna make sure that my pressure is under 100. It's under 100. I'm gonna make sure that my ABS light turns on. My name is Carlos. I'm here to perform my final brake check. My first test is my applied test. We are checking for leaks. We should not lose more than four PSIs in a minute. I'm gonna build the pressure to maximum, but no higher than 140. I'm gonna start my engine. My governor has cut out. My primary is at 124. My secondary is at 124 PSI. I'm gonna continue with my apply test. I'm gonna place it in low gear. I'm gonna shut my engine off. Carlos, when you shut your engine off, turn the key back on the ignition. And wait for all the indicators to stop. And then proceed. I'm gonna release my parking brake. I'm gonna release my trailer brake. I'm waiting for my pressure to stabilize. Pressure has stabilized. I'm gonna apply pressure to the service brake and hold it. Chuck your foot. Do not release it for anything. Waiting for air to stabilize again. My pressure has stabilized. My primary is at 99, secondary is at 100. I'm gonna wait for one minute and my minute starts now. My minute's up, my primary is at 99, my secondary is at 100. I lost no pressure or PSI's within that minute. This is a good test. My next test is my low pressure warning. We're looking for a warning light or a buzzer to come on, no lower than 55 PSI's. I'm gonna release some pressure. My warning light came on, but it has turned off. I'm gonna release pressure again. My warning light and buzzer has came on. My primary is at 61, secondary is at 64. This is a good test. Next is my spring brake pop-out. Track my parking brakes and trailer brakes should pop out no lower than 20 PSI's. I'm gonna release some pressure. Parking brake and trailer brake has popped out. My primary is at 27, secondary is at 27. This is a good test. My next is my 16 point checklist. I'm gonna build the pressure to max, but no higher than 140. I'm gonna start my engine. My seat belt should have no cuts and no tears and it unlatches and latches. My windshield, I should have a clear view, no illegal stickers. I should have no cracks, I have a crack right there and I'll mention that to my school. That the weather strippers are not cracked and not faded by the sun. That my wipers turn on and off, that they're not cracked or missing. That the blades are not cracked or missing. My window washers should be at a max level and if it's not, I would add it on the passenger side. 
My oil pressure is from 20 to 60 PSI. Oil pressure is at 35. My water temperature should be from 170 to 195. It's at 193. My voltmeter should be from 12 from 13, from 12 to 15 on the green section. Carlos, if you can't see it, it's, it's right here. It's digital. Press this little button. Do you see it? It's at 14.1 volts. My DEF, my diesel exhaust fluid, should be at a max level. If it's not, I would add it on the driver's side. My primary gauge and secondary gauge, building air, but no higher than 140. My heater and defroster, all speeds, turn on, cold, put your hands through the vents, Carlos. Hot, my defroster, all working properly, then it turns on, and they turn off. I have a fire extinguisher. It should be updated. It should be at a max level. It should not be missing. That the clamp is not cracked or missing, that it's properly fastened and secured. I got three emergency triangles under my passenger seat. They should not be cracked. They should not be missing with no discoloration. My fuses and circuit breakers are in my left side engine compartment. I make sure I have spares. My right signal turns on and off. Left signal turns on and off. My four-way flashers turn on and off. My headlights, low beam, turn on and off. My high beams turn on and off. This is my city horn. This is my highway horn working properly. My left mirror, my right mirror, both are tight and secure, not cracked, adjusted where I can see my left side rear of my trailer and my right side rear of my trailer. Once you're done with the 16 point in cap checklist, Carlos, let the examiner know. All right, that was my 16 point in cap checklist. My pressure's over 100 now. My next test is my parking brake test. We're gonna check our, that our parking brake and trailer brakes hold. I'm gonna check my trailer brakes by releasing my parking brakes. Trailer brakes hold. I'm gonna check my parking brakes by releasing my trailer brakes. Parking brakes hold. This is a good test. My next test is my service brake test. We're gonna pull forward no higher than five miles per hour. Make sure there's no one standing on my left, no one standing on my right for safety. My service brakes hold, my truck came to a stop. This is a good test, because my tractor didn't pull to the left, it didn't pull to the right. That concludes my final brake check. Carlos, do not turn off the engine until the examiner gives you instructions.